Hi, Jamie here. Hope you're well. Today we're going to be looking at handcrafting masonry grids. So there are plugins that will do this, but sometimes it's nice to do it without plugins. And also when you don't use plugins, it gives you a bit more control in terms of designing the layout. And obviously we've got no code bloat at all going on because we're just basically using the block editor to do them. So these are the three grids that I'm going to show you how to build. Uh, this is the first example that we can see on the screen. I've used this one as a um, testimonials masonry and the masonry is basically that sort of patched grid work effect that you see on lots of sites i'm a big fan of it and in this one we're just using the columns block and the group block and a heading block and a few other things so it's pretty simple to do i'll show you how to do that this next one again i've used as a sort of testimonials but we've got um a few different things working here so we've got a background image and we've got this nice section over each one of them with um a color but you can see through the color so you can see the background uh, behind it and what's nice about this is you can change you know the colors and the design of all this stuff yourself and the final option here is a really simple one but I spend a lot of time with photo gallery plugins and I thought it'd be fun just to create a sort of photo gallery effect just not using any plugins at all in fact just using the columns block and the image block and again I think it looks really clean and simple and because we're using core Gutenberg it, it loads razor fast as well so those are the three grids that I'm gonna show you how to handcraft. By going through the process, we'll also learn, or hopefully you'll learn some tips that you can use with the block editor in other applications as well. Uh, but here we go, and I'll see you on the other side. Right, let's start with this one. So this is the testimonials masonry grid, and let's rebuild it just so you can see how I did it. Now the key component to doing this is the group block. That's what really makes this possible. Uh, I'll talk you through it because that'll make sense. So all I'm gonna to do to start with is add the columns block. That's gonna give me my basically, my grid layer. And I'm gonna choose three columns, which is that one there. And then I'm gonna to start to basically build this within here. Now, all I've added here is actually, this is the stars here are an image block. That might be a paragraph block looking like a heading or it might be a heading block and then just a paragraph. So let's just, let's just reconstruct that. And what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna add the components in. In fact, let me just steal these here for speed. Um, let me just add the paragraph block and chuck these in. And I'm going to hit return here. And then I'm going to add my blurby stuff here. And then above that, I think I've just got an image block. Now I'm going to add it below and then chuck it up. Sometimes you'll find that is an easier way to do things in columns. It might sound a bit contrary but that's an easier way to do things sometimes because sometimes it's hard to add things to the top of things, if you see what I mean. And then I think all I'm gonna do is center these like so, but this is just design here. And I can make this bigger by changing the custom size here. So that's that's kind of the stuff we need, but the key bit is to add this sort of card background. And this is where the group block comes in. This is why the group block is so good because what you can do, you see how I'm selecting all the blocks here by holding down shift and then clicking and that will let me select all the blocks. Now, can you see here how this top toolbar gets in the way, which you might find. So if you ever find that, what a good tip is to stick it to the top of the page. So it's these three dots here, and it's this option here, and that just clears it out of the way. It'll stick it up here, and then you can actually come in here and select the blocks. And now what you can do is you can transform these to a group block, and that's basically putting all those blocks within a container group block like so. And now can you see it? they're all kind of all part of the one thing. And that's great because then we can target that with CSS or we can change the color over here like so. You can see you can just change the background color. And that will actually change the background color of the entire thing, okay? Simple as that. But the group block is the key here. You basically put your little blocks in and then you transform it to a group block. Now within the group block, you don't have a lot of options. Can you see on this grid here, how I've actually got a bit of padding around here. And I, you can also do things on the other blocks I'm gonna show you how to do, how, like this one, how you can round the corners. But again, because it's a group block, we can now target that with CSS. And I will put a link in to give you the CSS I've actually used on the, the demos I'm showing you. But all you have to do is select the entire group block and then over here on the right, select advance, and then this is where you can put your additional CSS selector. Um, so I can't actually see what I'm doing. So that's testimonials, that's what I called that. Now I have some code in that'll actually add a bit of padding around here. 
which I'll show you and I, and I will link to so you can just grab the exact code if you want to do this on your own sites okay and in the additional CSS can you see at the top here all I've done with this one I've got the class which is testimonials and then I've just said padding um, 30 pixels and that pads out from the text between the text and the, the block but I could also if I wanted to I could put a radius within that um, here just with a bit of CSS again see how I can now increase you see the little curves on the corners happening there so you can play that's what I mean you can play with the design to your heart's content and that's basically how I've created um, these here now the only, the only other thing that I did which you'll need to be aware of is within that column I added a spacer block first before I did the whole thing again so under here and sometimes this is a little bit tricky again um, just to make sure you're to actually there we go sometimes it's a bit tricky to actually select under here and then I just went spacer oh, you see how it's put it in the whole the whole thing itself so you want to make sure you're actually putting that within the column like so and then you can basically put in the next one but you could for speed you could just duplicate it and then move it down below the spacer okay there's my spacer if you don't put the spacer you that you'll find they just bunch up together okay and again you can change the height of your spacer so you know you can play with that as well so that's essentially how I did the this lovely testimonials grid or the key bit is the group block though because once you set it as a group block you can set the background and you can apply CSS to the whole group block great so let's move on to the second one which is this one here all right let's move on to this one so this is the same but different so it's different it's different because we're using a different block to start with but we're still the the fundamental thing is we're still going to be use a group block to apply this nice CSS uh, so let me start the page I'm going to start in exactly the same way I'm going to add the columns block so you just search for the columns block add it into your page drag it across I'm going a two column layout this time okay and now this is the different bit I'm going to actually use within the, the columns the cover block now the cover block is quite cool because a you can set a background image to it a background photo but you can also put containers within that okay so let me show you how this works I'm going to add the cover block then I'm going to choose a photo and this is just standard at this point this is just standard uh, cover block functionality there's my photo now I'm actually going to start to build this now I'm just going to nab this text here now I'm using them for testimonials but these could be as I'm um, it could be recipes here as well so let me um, let me change the context of this a little bit you get the idea and obviously you could put more blocks into it that's my name but we're going to use the same concepts again so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight them all and we're going to transform just those sections into a group so now we've got a group block within the cover block okay now at the moment that won't do anything particularly because we haven't applied any styles to it so it's just going to look like a normal cover block but in our CSS we're going to apply a style but first we need to give that um, we need to give that block uh, CSS and again you do that by selecting the cover block itself sorry the group block itself so you can you can click in here and just make sure down here in your hierarchy you've selected group can you see the little breadcrumbs at the bottom there just make sure you select a group because that's the bit we want to apply the styling to this is the sort of transparent color and the transparent class goes in there now let me just before I do that let me just show you if I go to customize the code that I've actually used here uh, which is there that is the code okay now again I will link to that code um, for you but the CSS class I've created is dot card that's the CSS class and then I've got this background color now the key bit on the background color is that I've got this RGBA and that what that basically means it lets me um, create this lovely transparency now you don't have to learn how to generate these there are online um, generators where you can just put the colors in and it'll create this for you and I will put a link in the description again for you for one one that you can use that I've used actually on this site and then again I've just added some padding which is padding out from the text and I've added a little radius to give it those nice curves on it so as soon as I then because I've already set that up as soon as I give that group block that class which I can do just by making sure I select group here and going to card I'm calling this card okay 
Now you won't see the, the proper preview in the editor, so don't panic about that. It will only be applied when you actually view it. And can you see there? There we've got that lovely transparency. And again, you can play, you can completely play um, with the transparency, how much transparency you, ha you have. Uh, you could put a curve on the transparency, um, everything basically, which is what's nice about doing it this way. You've kind of got complete control over the design. And this is the one that I created earlier. Can you see I've actually got a bit of margin around the sides as well. Um, so there we go. That's how to create that really cool layout. The final one's even easier. Uh, let me just try and find that one for you, which is this one here. So all I've done on this one is basically, let me go into the page to show you how I built this one. All I've done is added columns with photos in, okay, like so. And then all I've done is given each photo its own class, which I call pick gallery. Now again, you could change you could change the style for each photo if you wanted to. Like I've I've done the same class on every single photo, but doing it this way, you could have different styles on each photo. So you could you could really be um, creative because because we're handcrafting them. We're not relying on a plugin to do this. So if I go to um, customize additional CSS, can you see all I've got here? All I've done is pick gallery, that's the class that I invented, and then I've just given it, given it a border radius. And you'll see if I bump this up, can you see how you can just, you know, go crazy with them? Okay, so they're, they're now turning into circles because I've put such a radius on them, that's, that, that's what happens. So there we go, there's three handcrafted, kind of cool uh, masonry layouts that you can play with. The key thing is really the um, the group block. That's what lets us do this cool functionality. So I hope you found that useful. Um, if you did, if you, um, click subscribe to see more Gutenberg block editor tips and tricks because I'm doing about two videos a week at the moment. And if you can give it a like, that would be great because it just makes it share um, around YouTube much easier so other people can see this as well. So thank you so much. I shall see you soon.